So there's a lot of talk all over advertising that advertising is dead as we know it. And that's true. Dead advertising is dead, but live advertising is exploding. And it's called experiential. Today I'm going to tell you all about it. So first, let's take a step back, way back. What is an experience, and how would you define it? So an experience, to me, could be all of these things, or it could be none of these things. Experiences are undefinable, but they're also super personal, and that is the power of them. This is my son. <laughs> One thing we can all agree on is that first experiences are the most memorable and powerful of them all. And I'm not talking about, like, I don't know, backpacking across the Himalayas or kayaking in Antarctica. What I'm talking about are the little things in life. I'm talking about first kiss, baby being born, the passing of a loved one. And these are the type of experiences that bind us all in a global sense. And some of us, like myself, are experienced addicts. And what that means is that we travel from career to career, from job to job, and place to place in search of that feeling of the first experience. And at the end of the day, that's how we end up in experiential, and that's how people ended up in my company, Fake Love, and that's how I started the company. So how does defining experiences relate to advertising? So this is uh, traditional advertising, and I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of, a lot of this stuff. There's a commercial, uh, print, billboard, bus stop. And this is what I call new traditional advertising, uh, templates for everything. And we have to ask ourselves, how do you feel when you look at these? What a brand's basically doing is telling you, I want you to feel a certain way, and I want you to buy my product. And to me, that's a pretty passive and forgettable experience when advertising has the ability to change the world forever. And in today's new world of advertising, brands want to be influenced by you. And that is a big deal, and that's super important. This is an image from a campaign we did for Levi's. Uh, this is an actual photo that someone took of someone else. This isn't. For a commercial, this isn't a professional photo shoot. This is, this is the real thing. And a lot, of, a lot of brands ask me and a lot of advertisers, how do we engage with people like her? Um, how do we engage with the consumers and users of today? And I say, well, first of all, you can't look at people as consumers or users. You have to look at them as humans. Experiential to me, and this is something that, that is a big mantra of mine, is environmental to human design. And what that means is you walk into a space, that space curates itself, and there's a beautiful back and forth between you and it. Experiential is not a medium, but a belief. It's a belief that when you walk into one of those experiences, you'll get emotionally connected to that experience, and your life will be forever changed. And that's a big deal. That is something that brands and advertisers have been trying to do for a really long time. And also, to me, that's why experiential will be forever agile. And I say this a lot, but it's the last bastion of advertising. To me, three key points that I've come up with over the years, and I guess I've been doing this seven-ish years now, um, that make for a really awesome experience or an experiential campaign. Um, here, well, here are three key points. The first one is active, not passive engagement. And an example of that would be, let's say you go to an event and there's a bar with some influencers there, there's uh, some local fashion designers putting some stuff on the wall, and there's some cool 80s movies being projected on the wall. Uh, that's an event. It's a pretty cool event, but it's just an event. But if you go to an event, and there are some influencers at the bar, and they want to play some cool video games with you to create some custom cocktails, and then you walk up to some local fashion designers and they each give you a spray can, and then you and the fashion designer spray paint all the clothes and you get to take it home with you. And then when you look at 80s movies projected on the wall, you see your face instantly in all of them. That's experiential, and it's super cool. Two, it has to be live. Uh, simply put, if you go to a music concert, it's probably, probably pretty fun, but it's just music. But if you go to a music concert and there's haptics on the floor and there's sense in the audience and there's generative live visuals based on the music, that's experiential to me. Third big point for me is that an experience has to be multi-sensory. And what that means is it hits all of your senses. It hits sight, smell, taste. And you guys can see I'm kind of talking about multi-sensory through all these. But as a whole, an active, live, multi-sensory engagement, to me, creates the most memorable and honest experience of them all. So, what does this look like in real life? Well, I'm going to show you guys some stuff. Uh, this is a project we did for Google and Coke. And basically, what you can do is you can send a free Coke and a video message to, to a stranger anywhere in the world. 
This is a project we did for Lexus. Through a secret Facebook contest, you got sent to a secret hangar in Italy where you got to play a real-life video game with an F1 driver in real time. This is a project we did for Levi's, where you got to collaborate in real time with musicians and artists using hacked instruments and tools on a train traveling cross-country. This is a project we did for 7up, where we created a multi-sensory concert for deaf kids, where they showed up, they were super surprised. We had the number one DJ in the world, Martin Garrix, playing. And I think what I remember one of them saying at the end of, at the end of this is, this, this has changed my life forever. And that's something you want to hear when you're at an experience. And lastly, this is a project we did with New York Times, 20th Century Fox, and IBM. And what we did was we created an augmented reality experience where we took uh, NASA scientists that were overlooked by history and we placed them in your phone and you can place them in real life, well, augmented life, anywhere in the world. And this was a really powerful experience. We did this last year. And it works. So these are real life social posts uh, from the experiences you just saw as well as some of the other experiences that I've worked on over the years. And what you're seeing here is, is amazing. And what you're seeing here is true brand love. And that's something that brands and advertisers have been striving for for decades. And we just get it here. And so we're in an age of experience here, and it's here to stay. Brands want you to help build worlds, and they want you to help build it. Thanks.